Hi there. Welcome back. 821. So this morning here, a new report from bank rates saying that mortgage rates dropping again this week, providing a choice for homeowners. Should they take advantage of low rates and refinance? So Dan Ricardo joining us this morning to talk about the pros and cons of refinancing during the pandemic, maybe putting the house on the market. Dan, a lot to talk about. Always glad to have you. Good morning. Hello, Liz. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thank you. So uh, a lot of people... Um, we keep hearing the word refinancing, getting tossed around, refinancing their homes right now because the rates are so low. Um, is that worth it right now? Absolutely. If you're one of the last humans on the planet that hasn't refinanced your mortgage in the last couple of years, you could probably be saving a boatload of dough. Rates are pretty close to historic lows. So yeah, if you haven't refinanced, and let's say you've got at least a half a point or more between the current rate and the rate you're paying on, and you're going to be in the house for a couple of years, it's probably a really good time to do it. Okay, so you got to be in the house for a couple of years. Is there is there ever a point at this time where the, where rates are, where where maybe you're not a good candidate for refinancing, or is it kind of for yeah, anyone? Yeah, great, great question, Liz. If you've got shaky credit and you wouldn't get the best rate, you may want to hold off. And it really does come down to a math exercise, right? So I don't know, I'm not good at math, but my kids are. So get your third or fourth grader over there and <laughs> ask her to run a little bit of math for you to see if I refinance, what it's going to cost me to do that with the fees and everything else, how much am I going to save each month, and look for that break-even point. And if it's a year, two years, probably worth doing it if you're going to be in the house. So we are talking about refinancing, though. It does impact the uh, homes on the market because it sounds like fewer and fewer people are actually selling their homes. That is so true. You nailed it. So there's this huge log jam in the market right now. There's just not enough inventory. It's a record low number of houses, at least over the last few years. So what's happened is, as you said, folks are, well, they're bunkering at home, right? They're, they're improving their home. They're refinancing the mortgage. So they've got a little bit more cash. And the bottom line is there's just less houses for sale. And that's creating this sort of traffic pileup in the housing market right now. So if you are in the position to sell, and I mean, it is a seller's market here in uh, the Seattle Puget Sound area, and you know you want to renovate your house a little bit, where do we need to start to get that top dollar? It can be overwhelming, but here's my suggestion. Keep it simple, keep it inexpensive, keep it cheap. So what I mean by that is things like new fixtures, new appliances, maybe trim back that jungle in the front of your house and landscape it a little bit. Um, and, and Liz, the best one of all is paint hides a lot of sins and it's really cheap. So if you want to get started without spending a whole lot of money and dealing with contractors and everything else, that's probably the way to go. I love those suggestions. I am so not a home improvement person, <laughs> but I can pick up a paintbrush. So that feels very doable. Absolutely. Uh, and you know, hey, visit us on credible.com if you want, Liz. We've got more tips there, but swing that brush. You know, let's uh, do a little Botox on the house. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good to me. Dan Ricardo, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Liz. Take care. You too.